We all know propaganda is used against us, going in both directions. And this is something Obama said back in November of 22. Uh, basically, if you um, put out enough garbage, uh, people won't know what to believe anymore. So if that is the case, we have to actually verify things for ourselves. And I want to take a look at the microplastics found in food. Let's see if we can actually find them. Okay, here's a YouTube video um, where plastic cheese is used. And let me play this a little bit so you can see what we're looking at. Uh, I'll turn the volume off. But they're finding these little pieces. This looks like a hair. It looks like it's laying right on top. You know, you'd figure it'd be inside the cheese and not just laying on top. All right, here's a video of uh, microplastics in a chicken McNugget. I, when I looked at it, I did not find this at all. I didn't see anything like this. There's pretty much nothing in it uh, that was uh, out of the ordinary. All right, here's one uh, where somebody looked into a can of tuna. Microscope. I found what appeared to be microplastic. The question is, what would this potentially do to my health? Do they contain... So we know what we're looking for. All right, this is a piece of uh, turkey breast, thin sliced. And the only thing I'm seeing here is this little, there's these little blue dots everywhere. Microplastic? Not sure. Let's see if we can look at it closer. All right, before it was 140 times, this is 350 times. Let's see if we can look at it even closer. All right, I wasn't able to look at the little dots any closer, but I found this. This is 140 times. Let's take a look at 350 times. I don't know, could that be microplastic? Same color as the little dots. All right, now this is a piece of a, a hot dog. And the only thing I can find in there is this little blue speck. I've been looking through this whole thing here, and that's all I found. Tiny little blue speck. All right, this is a piece of Sargento cheese. I don't have plastic cheese to look at, but I'm trying different things. I'm um, putting different lights on it. And still, I, I don't see anything any kind of plastic uh, fibers or anything like I've seen in any other videos. All right, so I removed the cheese off the plate. We're gonna look at the cheese grease. This is what I see, this 140 times. Um, but yet, even so, I still don't see any uh, fibers. All right, same cheese residue, except this time it's at 350 times. Okay, as far as plastic particles, I don't see any. You know, and I've tried uh, chicken McNuggets and just a bunch of different things, and you know, I'm just not seeing what they're finding. All right, this is a piece of Lucky Charm cereal that I kind of pulverized. And once again, for if microplastics are in everything, I don't get it. I'm not seeing them. And at least not what they show on other videos. I'm just not finding them. You know, I, actually, I'd be more worried about chemicals than I would about... Um, little plastic pieces uh, if you swallow something plastic uh, it's gonna go right through you microplastic I have no idea but in any case I'm not seeing it all right in my search for microplastics I should probably figure out what it's I'm actually looking for and the most common 
microplastics are synthetic polymers. Other types of microplastics would be your polyester, nylon, ac acrylic, and synthetic fibers that are found in like your clothes. And you wash your clothes, you know, the water is actually returned back to the waste treatment plants. All right, to get a better idea of what I'm actually looking for, what I did is I got, I mean, this is a Cascade um, pod for the dishwasher. This one's um, a regular Tide pod. I'm not gonna use that one. But what I did is I trimmed off the, the plastic edges, which this is supposed to dissolve. And I put it in some boiling distilled water to melt it. And then I dried a sample on a plate. And what we're actually looking for here is, I don't know if you can see this right here, the water soluble film is actually polyvinyl alcohol polymer. All right, this is what it looks like at 140 times. Let's go to 350 times. And we focus it. All right, so we got Looks like uh, little bubbles with dark rings around. Have we seen that before? And you probably can't see uh, as well as I can on this slide, but some of these little particles are actually blue. They are actually blue. This one up here is blue too. Um, so that's actually what we're looking for. Some of this is, um, the bubbles are like clear. Some have the dark rings around it. All right, this is at 1400 times. And I don't know if the blue is coming through a little better or not, but we did see um, some specks in the food. So are there uh, microplastics in the food? Um, not what, what I was shown, but this stuff, uh, possibly, um, it wouldn't surprise me.